The following KQED production was produced in high definition. When I was a little boy, my parents only saw my rear end because I was bent over turning over logs and stuff and rocks and bringing stuff home and collecting anything strange. I, in fact, discovered that I could make a living doing what I'd love to do since I was a little boy. And that was basically studying weird stuff. Whoa. I'm an evolutionary biologist. I study who's related to whom, which is the baseline of all biological endeavor. Typical tropical tree frog position. You heard it here first. I'm fascinated with behavior. That's a classic way of reducing evaporative water loss during the day. I didn't even know you had one of those, that's great. We know a lot about the mammals, we know lots about the birds, but it's how, how little we know about the little stuff. It would surprise you. Oh, he's wonderful. If you watch on television some of these specials on the Serengeti where we know the number of hairs on, on the south end of a northbound hyena, but the frog sitting on the rock next door may be a brand new species and we have no clue. I'm fascinated with the way that organisms deal with hostile environments. And frogs, which are, are my specialty, African frogs, are ideal for this because they're so incredibly sensitive that, in fact, they make a, a, a marvelous indicator of environmental health. For the past 38 years or 39 years, I've been bringing back stuff from Africa. I'm a very lucky guy. I was born in San Francisco, and I found a place in the city I was born that's 150 years old and uh, the oldest scientific institution in the United States, west of the Mississippi, and I got a job. And I've been here ever since, and probably have had more fun per unit time than anybody you'll meet. Keep Quest free. Discover more and donate at kqed.org quest.